So continuing doing things when the emotion isn't there. Yeah, and going along with that, whenever you're in a commitment with someone, we we talked with Reward about this like two or three months ago because he he asked the question like, is love determined by like the giver or the receiver? In, in a like in a like in a situation where like say I do like a good thing for Joe Sway somehow because he's awesome, but in it like is it <laughs> is it determined? If that thing is a loving act, is that determined by, like, me in that instance or Joe Sway in that instance? And what we basically, like, determined, and we don't need to go down this rabbit hole if we don't want to, but our culture says that it's the receiver that determines it. <laughs> that they say, like, okay, I'm, a, I'm judging if it's something that is loving. And so it's yeah because we're all in like okay if i don't think this is accepting of me if i don't think this is benefiting me if i don't think this is something that i would think is love then it's not love and then i'm going to push it away to whereas what we see at least what we think in the bible is like all right it's the giver who determines if something is of love and is a loving action to where like the lord being the source of love is the first one to give love and therefore determines whether it's love or not but in it, I think that's something that we could potentially keep in mind whenever we're in, like, covenant of marriage or something like that. Is like, okay, do I sometimes feel like this is love from this person? Nah, but from there, that's where we have to have um, the humility of sorts and probably other character traits to ask them, like, hey, what was your intention in this? Like, what did you mean in this? Mm -hmm. And stay committed to them in that, even when we don't feel love back. Yeah, I, I take know. it. I take a step further to say. Uh, now, we might have talked about this back then, too, but um, I think we did bring this up, that it's not, I wouldn't even put it on, like, in, at least in human terms, I wouldn't put it on the giver either, yeah. but rather there's a higher standard of, like, selflessness and sacrifice when it comes to doing loving things, because being flawed as humans, there are times where somebody might do something that is genuinely loving, and we don't receive it or can't recognize it because of whatever, or vice versa, somebody... Uh, Whatever the opposite of what I just said is, um, <laughs> like, what is what would that be? Can, can y'all help me out real quick? You said like, like receiver recognizes. So to to uh, to, hmm, yeah. Y'all get what I'm trying to say? Nah, brother. No, nope. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Nah, keep going. Said Go ahead, the giver, help me out. And there's like, so the flip side is that the person that's trying to enact that act of love, it might not be loving, but the giver is like, okay, I see what you're doing. Right, but on the flip side, it's like the person that is giving thinks that it is a yeah. living thing, but the person receiving is yeah. like, no. And I think it's um, going both ways. Again, in human terms, it's just, it's about selflessness. Thank you. Um, <laughs> it's about um, selflessness, but like God set that standard by giving himself. 